Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. If you have been following my channel, you will know that the last video I did was showing you how to make silver, gold and copper out of non-silver, gold and copper plus iridescent medium through um, reefs. And so it's time to pour. Um, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to make up some gold. I've got some deep yellow in there to start us off. I'm going to put in some burnt sienna. And just a touch of vermilion orange. And where's my stirring stick? Stirring stick. Ah! Why isn't this one breaking? Alright. Now, you see I've only just made up a small amount. That's because this is the first time I've made a big amount. The rest of it's been playing on bits of cardboard and stuff. So, let's get those well mixed in. Add just a touch of white, not much, don't want much. Just ah. just a touch. Because your iridescent medium lightens it up as well. So let's add that. Now these have all been pre-mixed with Floetrol and water. Which is why they're mixing into this creamy consistency. Can you see the sparkle coming? Make sure you always scrape your sides when you're mixing colours, guys. Otherwise you're going to be pouring and you're going to end up with a marbled effect rather than... A consistent color as you can see I'm using quite a bit of iridescent medium because I want it sparkly gold I don't want dull boring dead looking gold some people would call that antique gold I call it dead gold I own antique gold and it still looks gold it doesn't What people call antique gold when it comes to jewellery is just dirty gold. Now let's have a look. I actually think it requires a touch more benzina. And then a touch more white.
Now I actually really like that. I'm going to go a little bit lighter. But not by much. Woo! The paint has other ideas. That was a lot more than I had planned. Now I really like that. That's really nice. All right, so we've got our gold and it is pouring consistency. Yay! Uh, now the other colors that I require for my painting are ultramarine blue. Um, grass green and anything else? I don't think so. probably use some of this as is so these colors need to have some iridescent medium added do, 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 do. for those of you that are wondering these are flavored tuna tins and during school time yes my family eats a lot of tuna because it's easy, soup that's way too much, it's easy to take to school. Um, it's yummy. I'm going to do about a 50 50 50-50 mix of these colours. And that grass green. Ooh, Korea's just arrived. I wonder what they've got for me. Um, look at that. Oh, yummy. Yabba dabba do, yummy yummy you. And then we have metallic blue. As I said, the when you add the iridescent medium, it lightens the colours up. But then you've also got to remember that colours darken when um, when they dry. So with that and that, we've got blue, green, and gold. And some Mars black as a base, we're good to go. Let me get set up. All right, so yes, we are spinning baby cakes. <laughs> um, so, this is my children's pottery wheel. There'll be a link in the description. If it's not there, please remind me if you want to know how to find it. Um, I've just got some um, tape that's been made into a curl with the sticky side on the outside I've put a couple of bits of wood to pack it out a bit and then some more tape 
and then we're just gonna line that cross up with the hole and it's not perfect and this thing wobbles and it doesn't spin perfectly and please don't have a hernia about it it's I like it and it works for me and it's a lot cheaper than buying a high-end one so let me just get that centered a bit there we go now the next step in this process huh, is to get my trusty bottle top bottle bottom now my friend Linda gave me this one and it's actually a plastic plastic tin can bum and we're going to put that on top of a shot glass and on top of our thing. Uh, actually before we put that on there I'm going to put our Mars Black. Did I use a base on that other one I did? I don't think I did. I'm not going to use mask black. Well, I am, but I'm going to put it on this. Alright. So I'm going to start us off with some mask black to get the party started. So if you haven't seen a bottle pour, where have you been? <laughs> this is what we call a bottle pour in the acrylic pouring circles and um, basically all you do is you uh, pour your colours onto the t bottom of a bottle Get that even ish. And it runs down the sides. And as you can see, I'm just doing the green and the blue. The green and the blue. scrape it out because we're going to use all of it so we're going to have a big dollop of blue and a big dollop of green and then yep you guessed it white
Nope. We're gonna do our homemade gold. And I'm just gonna let that drain for a little bit. And when I said I was going to put white, I wasn't joking. I am going to put just a touch of white. Or should I do iridescent medium instead of white? Let's do that. Now while that's draining, because I'm paranoid and I normally don't put enough paint on. some paint around the outside. <sighs> How's it getting any better than this? Right. That's enough draining. I've had enough of you. Time to get off. Where is a bit of plastic I can stick underneath? Here we go. So when I pick this up, I'm going to um, slip this underneath so that it Okay. Now I've got a piece of sellotape across the back of the hole and um, I've also got some Mars Black over sealing the label. Some people like to scrub the label off. That's way too labor intensive for me. I line up about 20 records at a time and paint them all. And um, I'm just going to invite all that to come in and cover that hole. Here we go. Are you ready to spin? <laughs> Three, two, one. Look at that, guys. Now it's gone off the side on one side. And not on another.
What's it look like to you? I know what it looks like to me. Looks like peacock feathers. I love peacock feathers. And you've got the little stripes of the actual feathers. You got the center point. And I so want that to run off the end. Come on. Quite often by tapping the edge, you can actually drag the paint down. There's so little paint on this. And I don't want to lose those ones off, but I do want to center it out a bit more. Okay. This might look counterintuitive, but when you've got a lump of paint, it tends to slide off faster than if it's really thin. And by sliding that lump of paint off, hopefully it's going to drag the other colour. off I love it 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 
and let's get cleaned up and torch it and see what else can be created. All right, so let's give this a little bit of a torching. Quite often when we spin, it creates bubbles, which we really don't want left behind in the paint. Especially when the paint is this thin. If they're still there, when the paint is not, like if they pop, when the paint is not still running you're going to end up with holes down to the um, well it didn't seem to pop too much it's interesting Gonna come down and have a close look. Okay, let's do that. All right, let's see what this camera does to these colors. So, when we do a bottle pour, you end up with like a spiral pour, and with a um, with colors like this, with the black in there. It just so looks like peacock feathers. I love it. It's so beautiful. You can see the shimmer. You know how peacock feathers shimmer. It's so exciting. My homemade gold. And that's iridescent medium, not white. So that's going to shimmer like a shimmery thing. And in the center, we've kind of got a really cool... But I'm not sure what happened to that black, why that black blob happened in the middle, but might have had something to do with me playing with it. <laughs> so there you go, guys. I love this, and I'm so looking forward to seeing how it dries. And uh, you get to see it in three, two, one. Right, here she is. Oh my goodness, I love it love it love it love it love it love it um metallic -y, shimmery the gold didn't quite do quite gold it's more of a yellow okra but that's okay i like it as it is especially with the metallic shimmer to it could have done with a bit more metallic in that but it's got the straight iridescent medium there so Love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it a lot. Super, super love it. Um, now, if I could change anything, I wouldn't have this plain black blob in the middle. But hey, even that's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. I love it. I think this is beautiful. I'm so looking forward to sealing it and putting some hands on it. Because this is dark enough to put like gold hands on it and it will look stunning so there we are guys there is our peacock metallic clock face on a record <laughs> i love it um 
I had so much fun doing this and so much fun playing with the metallics with you. Um, how's it get any better than that? What else is possible? <laughs> um, so if you like having fun or you'd like to be inspired by people that like having fun, um, come join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. The group is growing and I'm just really enjoying everybody sharing their firsts even though they don't particularly love it or uh, asking questions about what else is possible and how else they can create their magic um, and so grateful to all of you that contribute the ooh and ah over each other's work that um, just the kindness and caring in it is just adorable I'm just so grateful and uh, what else is possible so once again thanks to the sponsors of my channel um, they have contributed financially without any physical reward back from it I'm super grateful and it will all go towards me buying more fun things to play with on the channel to share with you to experiment with and what else is possible i adore you all and i will see you in another video really soon there's lots of fun things coming yay see you soon bye bye